This tutorial will instruct you on what I believe is the preferred method to upload your pictures. And in this particular case, I have my camera connected to my uh, computer via the transfer cable that, uh, that came with my camera. Now, many of you will be using a card reader here in class, and uh, there's a couple of cautions uh, when you're doing that. Uh, I'm going to turn my camera on so my cable is connected to the camera and to the laptop and through the USB cable. I turn my camera into the on position and immediately bridge opens up. And uh, bridge is opening up. Uh, my camera, uh, my computer has been instructed to do that, to identify whenever there's a source uh, connected that can upload images and it opens up what is known as the photo downloader and if you notice up here in the left hand corner that's what it states it's, it's calling it the photo downloader there's a small camera icon right here and if in fact when you turn your camera on or you plug your card reader into the computer if it doesn't recognize or can't find it or if the bridge doesn't open you need to manually open Bridge and then go to this little camera device up here in the left hand corner and click on that and then that brings open this photo downloader. It has a simple dialog box. What we would like to do is to actually go to an advanced dialog. So the first thing that you'll do is click on the advanced dialog. Now what this will do, it will say to get the photos from, and so here I have my Canon 5D Mark II attached, and it's telling me that there's 324 files, which I have 4.6 gigs of information. And I have this photo shoot that I've recently taken of some interiors, and I have them all here uh, and I can scroll down and I can see these. I bracketed my exposures. I take a lot of multiple exposures of the same subject. And here's another project. I'm not going to upload all of those. So I'm going to go down here to the check all. I'm going to click on uncheck all. So now I can just pick and choose the best exposures that I would like and I can just click on the little boxes and that will add those to the list. And as I'm doing so, I can just preview the pictures that are most important to me. And once I have all the images selected that I would like to upload, I need to determine the destination. So I go to the Save Options. Now this is a problem because you have default settings here and your pictures will be saved to a place that will be very difficult to locate. So you need to create a new folder. You need to choose the location. So I'm going to click on Choose. I get my dialog box and I'm, for the safety of this, I'm going to save them to my desktop. So I click on the desktop. I'm going to make a new folder. And at this point, if I know what the subject of this is, if this is your first assignment and you want to call it texture underscore one, because this might be your first uh, stab at it, and you hit create, it creates the texture one folder for you, and you can click then on open. Well, that's the trickiest part. Uh, that you just need to be able to find them when you're done uploading them. Now, I'm offered these different uh, customized ways of uploading the images. I can create a custom name. So in other words, I can name uh, the pictures uh, by the shot date uh, and how it's presented You know, by the year and the month and the date. I can actually rename the files. I can actually even go to a, a, an advanced name and name them texture and then pick out some chronological order. I'm not going to do that. I can show you, and I will show you, in the metadata window how to rename and how to uh, put keywords along with these pictures. So I'm going to go pretty straightforward here. Now when I'm done with this, I can actually have those pictures open in Adobe Bridge. I can click that. 
Here's an opportunity to convert this to a DNG, which is a digital negative file. Uh, this is a file that uh, Adobe has promised uh, that they will always invent some kind of software that can open up uh, a DNG file. I have the opportunity to, to deselect or to delete the original files. I can also set up another place to save the pictures. So not only can I save them to the de uh, desktop in Texture 1, but I could click here to save copies to and actually if I wanted to save them to a, uh, an external hard drive that I might have attached, I could save them there as well. So it's creating some backup. Here's apply the metadata, template to use the basic metadata. And uh, that's fine for me. The creator, I'm the creator, so I can put my name in there. And this information then will be tagged to these files. And then I can also put my copyright symbol here. So to get to the copyright symbol, you click on the Option G key, and then you get this little copyright symbol, and then R Creamer. So now those pictures will be copyrighted, and essentially that's what I would like to do with this. I click on Get Media. I had nine images selected, so it's showing me that it's uh, transferring there nine out of nine. I said that I wanted them to open up in Bridge afterwards, and here they are. Here's one of the pictures. Here's another one. So, and if I look over here, you can see that they're all in a folder called the Texture One, and it's on the desktop, just like I had instructed it to do. So, once you've done that, the, the word of caution here is, if you have used a, a card reader, what you need to do is there will be an icon on your desktop that shows it'll be a small little square. You need to drag that to the trash or you need to eject that. You can right click, click on that little icon and it will eject it. Do not just disconnect the camera or the card reader. Doing so can corrupt that card. So here I didn't upload all of the images and if I improperly separate it from the computer, it will in fact corrupt the card and I will get a warning uh, that I did not disconnect properly. So you want to click, right click on the icon to eject or you want to drag it to the trash or in my particular case, I turn my camera off. That's what I've done. That's the best way to save your pictures or import your pictures. There are other ways. Uh, this is the best way, I believe, because it allows you to uh, begin to pre-edit your pictures.